So now that your store is set up, you have uploaded your logo and added some branding to your store, you're ready to start launching campaigns and making some sales. So from your campaigns page, you click create campaign, which begins the process of launching your first product. The first step is to customize the settings of your campaign, including the name and URL path. So first, if we look at our design, it says I like to party, and by party I mean walk dogs. So we'll just set the name to I like to party. And then we'll set a URL path. Next, we'll want to add a few tags to this campaign. Uh, tags are great for segmenting your customer data and for um, assigning campaigns to storefronts. So we'll add the dog tag, the animal tag, and um, to put this on our homepage storefront, we'll add the storefront tag. So, for example, if a customer makes a purchase from this campaign, their customer profile will take on both of these tags. Um, and then later, if you want to do some email marketing or build custom audiences, you'll be able to segment your whole customer list just to separate out the customers who made purchases from similar campaigns. Everything else that's on this page is pretty much just for choosing what you would like to display on the product page, but there are a couple things to take note of. First is the fulfillment method. So you can choose a launch and fulfillment, which is where you set a campaign duration of maybe one to two weeks and collect pre-orders after which those will be sent to production in a one big batch. Uh, the other method is immediate fulfillment where you have a small surcharge um, but it guarantees that the orders will be produced immediately as they come in and it guarantees slightly faster shipping times for your customers. It's really just up to you. So you can choose if you want the social buttons to be on the product page for sharing. Uh, you can hide the campaign countdown timer if you're doing a launch end campaign. Um, one other important thing to take note of though is the upsell discount. So you can give a discount to your customers for making their first purchase and when they land on the thank you page after making that first purchase they'll be given a pop-up saying thank you but add another item from this campaign and uh, I'll give you the discount that you place here. At the bottom of the page you can override the default store pixel so you might be someone who is selling in multiple niches and you use different ad accounts for each niche. Uh, if this campaign is in a different niche than your general one, you can override the pixel, for example. And then at the bottom, you just add your description and copy. One other thing to take note of, though, is the upsell discount. So if your customer makes a first purchase and then goes to the thank you page, you can offer them a discount for adding another item to their order by putting a discount value in here. And when your customer lands on that thank you page, they will uh, see a pop-up saying thanks for your order, but add another, and you'll get $5 off in this case. At the bottom of the page, you can then override your default store pixel. You might be someone selling in multiple niches and using multiple ad accounts. So here's where you can manage um, your additional pixel. Lastly, at the bottom of the settings page, you just add your description copy. Maybe you want to add some attention-grabbing images uh, and styles. You do that in this uh, description editor here. So we've customized all the settings for the campaign, and now we're ready to move on to the designer to upload our artwork, select our products, and set our prices. So on the design page, the first thing we are going to do is upload the artwork. So add it to the mock-up, and then we can select our products. So we can select any of our products from the apparel, drinkware, or paper product lines. For this campaign, we will just select a couple of t-shirts. And then we'll pick our colors. Now that we have our products added and colors selected, we just need to set our prices. So for the Hanes Tagless T, we'll just go with uh, $23.95. And then for the slightly more premium American Apparel, we'll make it a little more expensive at $24.95. So now we have our products added, prices set. Um, all we have to do now is launch the campaign and get it live on your store. So since we're doing a launch and fulfillment campaign, we need to select the duration. So we'll go with seven days. 
and we will auto relaunch so this campaign will always be available week after week. Click launch now and the campaign is immediately live on your store. And now we can start marketing and driving traffic to this page so we can make some sales. So we just move on to the advertise page where we can start building the URLs we will use in our ads. So you can do your own custom variable tracking by using the custom key and value fields at the top or you can just use our drop down menus where we provide all of the different product and color options that you have in this campaign. So right now we have a URL that would be uh, that would include the image of the Haynes Tagless T and Ash, but maybe we want to test the conversion rate of the American Apparel crew in silver instead. We can update those drop down menus and the URL is updated right away. Lastly, if you use Google Analytics, you can click plus GA variables where we will give you the default uh, Google Analytics variables for you to control. And now we're basically done. The campaign has successfully been launched and we can see what it looks like on the live store. So there we go, we've got the mock-up. You can choose from the styles we're offering, select a color, and then add it to the cart and check out. Now as the sales start rolling in, we'll be able to move on to our campaign stats, seeing what's driving the most sales, and adjusting our advertising accordingly.